This is the Programmer Owl, and in this video I'm going to walk through the Edibit Python challenge, Simple Encoder. And basically what, it, what they want us to do in this challenge is create a function that takes a string and performs simple encoding. So if a letter is just once, there's just one occurrence of it, replace it with an opening square bracket. But if it occurs two or more times, replace it with a closing square bracket. And we can see in the examples, and I also like to look at the test to kind of see what I'm in for, what kind of curveballs they might throw our way. You can see that like a name like Mubashir doesn't have any repeating letters. So all of the text is going to be replaced with an opening square bracket because all of the letters are unique. But like in the name Matt, the first two letters are unique, but the last two occur, they're a repeat of another letter. So they're going to be a closing square bracket. And then we see that there's even some instances of where spaces are used. And spaces are going to be counted as characters here, we can tell, because in the replace text, there aren't any spaces. So those are things we're going to have to consider as we code. And this one, I'll be very transparent and honest, I was a little at sea at first. I didn't know exactly what to do. So I went to resources to kind of get some ideas of how to attack this problem. And the first thing I know I needed to do was because sometimes there are capital letters and sometimes it's a mixture of capital and lowercase. Sometimes it's all lowercase. We need to make something consistent. And there's basically two choices. You can either make all the letters lowercase or you can make them all uppercase. And I think for just the ease of what resources they provide you, go ahead and go with lower. But the same result would be achieved with upper as well. So it just, it really doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm going to start with the argument that they give us, which is going to be the string s, and I'm going to assign that to s.lower, and you don't have to put anything in the parentheses. And we know that we're supposed to, we're going to need to do two things. We're going to need to count how many times each character shows up, and then we're going to need to, based on how many times it occurs, replace that. Well, I played around with some replacing, and I know in the resources they use the join method, but I found another method that worked better for me and the way that I understand the logic. But this is just one of many ways that you can solve this problem. I'm not saying my way is the best. I'm just saying this is the way that made the most sense for me. So what I ended up doing was creating a new variable called t and having it be an empty string. And so after that, I needed to count the occurrences. So I'm going to create a for loop. So for i in range, because I tried for i in s like the string. That's not going to count because it's not an integer. It's a, it's a string. So I need to give them a range that's a, that's a number, that's an integer. So to do that, I need to do for i in range the length of the string, which is s, and then end with a colon. So for i in range, the length of s. So if the word is mat, the range will be 4. If it's Air Force, what is it? With some spaces in between, it's like 10 or 11. So it'll vary depending on the string that is sent in. And then what we need to do is use another method that they encourage us to use, which is count. So for i in range of the length of the string, if, if s i or s, sorry, <laughs> if s dot count, so we're looking at the string and we're going to count to see how many times s i. So the first, so let's say we're doing Mubashir for the m and it's all lowercase now. So now we're going to see if it's how many times they count the letter m. So the way I approach this is if it equals one. So if there's just one M in the whole string, what we want to do is the way that they want the letter to go with one single occurrence is an opening square bracket. We're going to do T plus equal 
and I'm going to add an opening square bracket. So, like with Movishare, what should happen is it's looking at the first letter of the string. They're like, oh, it's M. They look through and count and see if there's any more M's, and they find that it's just one. So what they're going to do is they're going to take this um, close square bracket and add it to T, the string T. That should be what happens. And then if there's more than one else, what we want to do is add the other type of bracket, the closing square bracket. And then what we want to do at the very end is return T. So that should be the way that we count how many characters there are and replace it with the correct opening or closing square bracket. And I would definitely recommend looking under solutions after you finish coding and whatnot to see the other ways that people did. If you're interested in using the join method, I'm sure that there is an example of how to use it there. This is just the simplest way that I understood it, the one, the way that made most logical sense to me. But that's the beauty of coding, that there's a bajillion ways to do it. And just because one way to, one person does it one way doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just a difference of opinion. I do think there's, you know, probably better ways to streamline it and make it more simple. But yeah, like I said, there's, that's the beauty of coding, that there's a lot of different ways to approach it. And so that is how you walk through, or that was my walkthrough of Edibit Python Challenge Simple Encoder.